Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uh, uh, Macintosh Disk Utility again. Uh, this time what we're going to do is we're going to discuss how to uh, set up a new disk image uh, from a folder on the hard drive and then uh, make that, uh, burn that to a, a, a CD. Uh, so we're going to make it into a CD uh, burnable image and then burn it to the CD. So uh, this is a great way to back up your data on your hard drive and if you've uh, got a lot of uh, files that you need to back up this is a great way to do it quickly easily without uh, a whole lot of effort uh, it's nice that this is already built into the system and we're going to make it make uh, good use of it what we're going to do is go up here to the file menu select new and we got two options here blank disk image and a disk image from folder the blank di disk image the concept here is you're going to build uh, you're going to gradually pile data in there and then burn it uh, disk image from folder, you're going to take something that's already in a folder and just make it into a disk. So I'm going to tell it disk image from folder and I'm going to select my installers to archive. Click on image. Now I have to tell it what format. Now compressed would be a normal uh, Macintosh disk image that you could put on a disk and then just extract it as the files from it as you need them. But in this case I want to make it where it's a disk that I can boot up on a computer and then just copy the files off of it. So, or, you know, so I'll open up the thing on a computer and everything. I can make it read-only. I can make it a read-write uh, image, which means you can alter the data there. Um, you can also make it a uh, ISO uh, uni universal disk format uh, image, which is kind of handy. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to make a CDV or CD master. Uh, we're not going to encrypt it. We're just going to tell it save. And what it's going to do now is it's going to go through here and very quickly it will archive the data. Now uh, you saw my virus scanner flash up there for a second. What it does is whenever it created the disk image, it assumed that a disk had been, been inserted in the computer and it was t checking it to make sure that the, uh, that the disk that was inserted was indeed clean and free of virus. Uh, these are, this is a good setting to have on your antivirus software, coincidentally. So anyway, it's uh, creating the disk image. Now you notice it mounted it over here in my window. So I now have a, C a, a disk image I can work with. The .cdr tells me it's a CD recordable image. So what I can do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, select that. And then I'm going to tell it to burn. Now it's going to burn the disk in the super drive. And it knows that. So I'm going to go ahead and, t and, and it says wait for a disk you know to be inserted so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to insert a disk in my drive and once it uh, starts booting up it knows that it's that I just inserted the disk it's now waiting for it uh, the next thing I'll see is that uh, if it checks out the disk is okay and ready to burn it gives me the burn option I also can eject it if I accidentally slipped the wrong disk in there I've done that a time or two I think everybody has click on burn to actually burn the disk and so now what it's doing is it's making a disk uh, you know that that can be you know basically put into any any Mac and uh, brought up uh, the idea of this was that it makes a uh, a Mac image and uh, if you needed something that was going to be brought up on a PC maybe you had some files you're copying over to your PC you would have gone for the ISO image instead of the CDR image uh, the idea is that uh, this is you know where we're targeting the platform we're working with so it's writing the track out and what will happen is as soon as it completes the writing of the track and verification of it uh, one thing you'll see happen again is my virus scanner is going to come up uh, again because a disk has been inserted as far as it's concerned because the disk was completed so it shows up as a mounted volume in the operating system and all that whenever uh, an item is mounted it means is that it's available for the operating system to work with. Uh, whenever you're doing major changes to hard drives uh, in almost any operating system what you do is you basically unmount it from the system so that you can actually do things with it. In fact you'll notice down here in disk write status it says it's not mounted yet. Okay so uh, I didn't I didn't mount that disk uh, I basically put it out there and it shows up on the desktop but it's not mounted if I double clicked on that disk it would try to mount it uh, and and load it into memory so it would be just like a regular disk drive as far as the computers concerned 
uh, disk imaging uh, has been going on in the, on the Apple platform since, oh gosh, back in the, uh, uh, the 80s, uh, you know, the very first, uh, very first stuff with, with the Mac, there was, uh, there was stuff going on with disk imaging. So um, I used to make floppy disk images way back when on the Mac. And uh, so this kind of stuff's been around uh, in Apple's products for a long time. And now there's just about everybody in the world now makes that has a disk uh, utility now does something with it. Now here we go, it's verifying it. That's a great thing. Now it's going to check it over, make sure the disk is usable. Uh, on some of these uh, programs, you, you know, you have this option of skipping the verification. I suggest you never skip it if it's something that you want to uh, remove from your hard drive almost immediately. Uh, go ahead and make sure that it verifies it. That way, at least you know that the data matches up with what's on the disk. You know, so that you you did archive it correctly and you've got something that you can safely remove without worrying about losing your data. Uh, one other thing, while we're going through this, and it's completing its verification, uh, the difference between a CD uh, rewritable or a DVD rewritable and a CD R or a DVD R. Uh, the big difference is the rewritable has a little different die in the disk and that die, the fact that it is different makes a big difference in what you can do with it. Uh, rewritable disks have a die that if you look at it it's much darker and it can be used multiple times. So the laser can actually rewrite it multiple times without uh, losing data. Uh, the thing is that with those, uh, they say that you can get probably a hundred uses out of them. I really usually don't go beyond about four or five uses because I figure after four or five uses with a rewritable, I've got my money out of it. So it's fixing the finished verification and as soon as my virus scanner starts, I'm going to shut it down so that it doesn't uh, take so long to check it. Uh, so I complete the burn and I tell it OK, it completed its job. Uh, so now we're good to go. If I pop the disk in, it will come in just like a regular disk. This is where my, my virus scanner will go crazy on me because I'll have to tell it, no, I don't want to scan it. But I want to just show you that uh, by putting the disk back in, that yes, it will come up, it will mount itself on the desktop, it'll mount itself on the computer as a uh, usable volume. And I can actually look at the data on it. I'm going to cancel this. I don't want to go through scanning that. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. If you need computer help or information, uh, come by my website at home.earthlink.net forward slash tilde crabby or you can google or bing my website at crabby's place just look for the entry that says welcome to crabby's place thank you and have a great day